In this video, I'm going to run through the top five most common questions that come up in food line interviews, and I'm going to share some tips with you and help you plan brilliant answers that will get you a job working at Food Lion. So let's start with a question that is basically guaranteed to come up in your interview, which is what shifts can you do here at Food Lion? They will want to know what times you're available for work. And if you don't answer this question well, you are very unlikely to get the job. They screen loads of people out on this question. So to be successful, you need to do a few things. You need to start by showing a can-do attitude. They would much rather give the job to someone who can do lots of times than someone who's going to restrict their availability because they know you're going to be a little bit more hard work in the long run. You also want to show that you're highly flexible. You want to offer as much as you possibly can. The more you can offer, the more interested they are in hiring you. The way that people massively mess up this question is that they instantly start talking about all the times that they can't work and basically give Food Lion a big list of reasons why they shouldn't give you the job. If they need people in at specific times and you're saying you don't want to work those, they're not going to hire you. And also it makes them question whether you actually take your job seriously. If you give lots of lists of reasons why you can't work lots of different times, it suggests that you don't take your job as seriously as perhaps they would like you to. The other thing that you can do to be successful is to list specific times that they are looking for. Food Lion want to hear certain times. So if you start listing these, you will get hopefully a smile from the manager and get their interest. So you want to start by talking about store opening time. So if you're happy to work earlier in the morning, that's a great time to mention. If you're happy to work in holidays, particularly school holidays, that is a good thing to mention because that's a slightly harder time to staff the store. If you're not happy to work a certain time, the trick is don't bring it up. Don't volunteer anything that's going to be negative. Weekends, the store is of course open on the weekend, slightly harder to staff. Volunteer and say, I'm happy to work on weekends. If you're happy to work at short notice, that's another thing that is really helpful for a manager to know. If you're happy to work in the evenings, great thing to mention. And a good phrase to use in general is to say that you are happy to work to meet business needs. And another thing that you can slip in at the end of this question is if you have reliable transport, it's good to mention that because that gets some of their concerns a little bit reassured. So just mention reliable transport if you have it. If you don't have it or you're relying on public transport, don't bother mentioning it because it's not going to help you. Only mention the things that are going to help you out. And so really my top tip on this question is to say yes as much as possible. The more you say no, the less likely you are to get the job. So that is the key to success on this question. So we can move on and look at another question that's very likely to come up, which is what do you know about Food Lion? Very important that you've done your preparation. Obviously, there is absolutely no point going to a Food Lion interview without actually having done your research. So I'm going to help you prepare for this question by giving you key facts and showing you how you can actually approach this question. So the way to think about answering this question is to start in the center of that diagram. State what the obvious facts are. What are the things that every single person should know about the company? Like it's a supermarket. Get in the real basics. Then move outwards and show off some research. Show that you've actually done some key research. And I'm going to share with you some of the key research points that you want to remember. And then to really impress them, try and teach the interviewer something new. Show that you know something that perhaps they didn't know and drop that in the interview to show that you've really done great preparation. So let's run through the key facts you should know about this. So we now know the company is Food Lion, but originally it was called Food Town. You should remember that fact. It was founded in 1957. That's a good number to memorize and mention in your interview. They now have over a thousand stores. They've grown to be a really major player in the American grocery market. They are owned by a company called Ahold Deleuze, which is a Dutch company, and they are absolutely massive, and they own a lot of brands. And you want to practice pronouncing that. It's Ahold Deleuze. It's a Dutch name. They have a logo that is actually based on the Deleuze lion. And if you look at a European supermarket called Mega Image, they actually have what is virtually identical as a logo. When you look at the two logos, the words are different, but the lion is exactly the same. And that comes from the company's heritage. You should also know that Food Lion is based in the southeastern and mid-Atlantic states currently. Supermarkets in the US tend to focus on one particular area. It's very hard to move into other areas because then you start competing with the big supermarkets there and it's going to cause you to lose a lot of money. So you focus on where you've got density as a supermarket. You should also know that 
Food Lion is involved in charity and they've donated quite a lot of meals to charities and nonprofits. You should also take some time to memorize and learn the names of the private brands. These, of course, change all the time. So look up and find out which brands you can only buy in Food Lion that are their specialist brands. And that's a great thing to remember. My last top tip is to actually go and visit the Food Lion newsroom. So there's a web page on their website that has the most recent and up-to-date news about the company and take some time to read some current recent news stories and learn those and bring those up in the interview to show that you're following the company and you're keeping up to date with the news and you actually are interested in this business. So now that you're well prepared for the what do you know about the company question, now we're going to move on and look at questions that you can be asked about how you work with team members. A common question that they like to ask about this is how would you handle a disagreement with a team member? And whenever you're confronted with a negative situation like this, there is a four step process of things that you need to include in your answer. And so I'll run through those. So anytime your professionalism is being challenged, you want to emphasize that you will always behave professionally. And that can be applied to any question they could ask, including how you would deal with an angry customer, for example. Any time where you could make the wrong choice, you want to emphasize that you're not, you're going to behave responsibly and you're going to be a professional. Any time that things could get out of control, people could get angry or upset, you want to emphasize that your focus is on de-escalation. You want to calm everything down, keep the situation under control, so you use the word de-escalate in your interview. Anytime you're confronted with a problem, you want to emphasize that you are a solutions-focused person, that you want to solve problems and you don't create problems. A disagreement between team members is a problem, and the key is that you want to come and find a solution that minimizes the impact of this. And lastly, you always want to emphasize that you are customer centric, that the customer is at the heart of everything you do and that a disagreement between team members could harm Food Lion's ability to deliver for its customers. And that's not acceptable. That disagreements between team members have to be seen in the context of customers and maintaining great customer service and not lowering the standards that Food Lion has. That everything you do is focused around delivering for Food Lion's customers. And that reassurance goes a long way in the interview. So now that we've tackled this question, we need to move on to an extremely important question, which is why do you want to join Food Lion? To answer this question, I'm gonna give you some things that you want to mention and some things that you absolutely should avoid mentioning because they're gonna cost you the interview basically. So the things that you want to get in your answer is what do you like about Food Lion? Are you a customer of Food Lion? Do you like the store? Is this one of your favorite stores that you would like to be part of? Things like that. Also think about why would you want to work for Food Lion as opposed to work for Walmart or another competitor? Why did you choose Food Lion and not one of its competitors? What would you actually enjoy about working at Food Lion? Do you enjoy working with food? Do you enjoy working with customers? Do you enjoy that sort of work environment where you're meeting lots of new people every day? Things like that. Think about what sort of career opportunities there are. You could be starting here at an entry level job and finish up as an area manager or beyond. So there is quite a long progress that you can go through in your career. You could actually go very far working at Food Lion and end up with an extremely well paid job at the end of it. So think about the career opportunities that Food Lion presents. You could move to an assistant manager maybe in five years time. You could be managing your own store in maybe 10 years time. That there is that great progression that's available and you can talk about being really enthusiastic and eager to take on new training and gain new skills to move up and progress with the company. But the most important thing for this question is that you must be enthusiastic. You must really talk positively about Food Lion and show that this is a job that you're really interested in getting. So be enthusiastic about the brand and be enthusiastic about the job opportunity. Some things that are gonna absolutely mess you up if you mention is saying things like, my house is really close, like you live near a Food Lion, therefore you want to work there. Well, there's lots of companies probably near your house. Why not go work for another one? And that is not a good reason for wanting to work at Food Lion that they are going to care about. Don't mention that you just want to work here for the money. You just need an income. You got to earn some money. So you thought maybe you just work at Food Lion and work in grocery. That's not good enough. If you give the impression 
that you're working for Food Lion in the short term until you can get a better job, that you're here for a few weeks or a few months just until something better comes along. That is going to go down very negatively. Don't give that impression. Now is not the time to talk about quitting your job and leaving Food Lion before you've even got it. And basically, when you're thinking about your answer to this question, do not say anything that is not going to interest them. That if it doesn't make their business better and show that you're going to be a good hire, don't mention it. It's not relevant. It's not going to help you out. Some ideas of some things that you could talk about is brand affinity. So talk about really liking the Food Lion brand. Talk about enjoying working with customers and talk about the opportunities for progression. If you want to move up in the co company, look on LinkedIn, see what other people have achieved working with the company and talk about how you would like to be part of that. So if you get in all the ideas on the good side and absolutely avoid the negative arrow, you're going to score well on this question. So let's move on and look at the next question, which is about your strengths and weaknesses. To do this, we're going to start by talking about strengths and then move on and talk about weaknesses. And these are really key questions. Your strengths is your opportunity to show that you'll be a great hire and your weaknesses is an opportunity to screw up the whole interview and not get the job. And you're going to have to be careful with that one. So let's start by looking at strengths. So for your strength, it has to be what we call substantive. It has to be something that's actually really important. It's not just a little strength that's not that important. It's a strength that's really going to be good for the business. And I'll give you some ideas of some strengths that you could talk about. Then you need to evidence it. You have to actually show them that you're not just making up this strength for the interview, that you really have this. So could you get a reference from a former manager? Could you give examples of when you've used this strength? Or could you supply a qualification that proves that somebody has signed you off as actually having this strength? And fundamentally, your strength needs to show that you are a good hire for Food Lion. Think about what they're looking for and pick one strength in yourself that is going to be super important for their business and is going to make them think that, oh, the person who's got this strength is someone we want to give a job. And when you come to your strength, and I'll give you some ideas of strengths that you could say, the way that you answer it is to start by saying, a key strength of mine is, say what your strength is, then say I can evidence this by, supply some evidence, give some examples of when you've used this strength, get a reference, or show a qualification. You've got to have something that backs up this strength, otherwise it's going to be a very weak answer. But then lastly, and most importantly in the question, you have to say at Food Lion, I will use this strength too. Explain to them what you are going to do with this strength to make their business better. That's actually going to give them a reason why they should hire you because of this strength. So some ideas you could talk about is previous experience. If you've worked with customers before in a customer service environment, or if you've not worked in customer service, but you've got a previous job that you've picked up some skills that you're really good at that could be useful for the job, talk about that. Customer service skills, probably the most important skill. If you've got that, talk about it. If you're a friendly person, that's quite a good skill. They like that for when you're working with customers. If you're um, patient, proactive, reliable, these are all quite good strengths that are going to help out Food Lion's business. So pick a good strength from that list, the strongest ones being around customer service and previous experience, and then you will score highly on the strengths question. Now let's look at the weaknesses question. And this is where you can blow the whole interview. So you have to start by picking a real one. Don't pick a fake weakness. The one that people use all the time is they talk about, you know, I'm a huge perfectionist and everything has to be just perfect, as if that was some major weakness. It's it's in a way, it's a little bit of a weakness, but it's not a real weakness and just absolutely avoid it. It goes down very negatively. Then talk about doing something about your weakness. It's not good enough to just say, I have this weakness. Do something about it. How are you going to overcome your weakness? You want to spend more time talking about what you're doing about your weakness than how it's such a big problem is going to make you terrible at your job. The next thing you absolutely must make sure is that you ensure that Food Line doesn't care about it. The weakness that you pick should not be something that is important to Food Lion's business at all. So, for example, if you were to say, I have an offensive personality, well, that's interview over and they're going to employ someone else. Don't pick a weakness that matters to them. Some ideas I'll give you in a second, but the way that you answer the question is very simple. You say, a weakness I'm aware of is, say what your weakness is, and then spend most of the time talking about how you plan to overcome it. So say, I plan to overcome this weakness by... And that could be taking a course, learning online, 
getting some mentoring or getting some extra training. These are some things you could talk about. And some ideas for weaknesses is that you currently only speak English because most people applying for the job probably have that as a weakness. If you're applying in an area which has a high Spanish speaking population, for example, this is a weakness that you should avoid. A good one for entry level jobs is delegation because you're not going to be expected to do very much delegation. And you can talk about how you're going to learn that skill as you move along in your career. Public speaking is another thing that you're unlikely to have to do while working at Food Lion, so it's not gonna be marked down, but it is a genuine weakness, and it is one that you can quite easily do something about fixing. So pick a good weakness that they don't care about, and then talk about what you're gonna do about it more than what the weakness is, and you will be successful on this. So before we finish, I've got a bonus, which is some questions that you could actually ask them at the end of your interview. So. Start by asking things around what qualities does the perfect food lion employee have? Ask them what perfection looks like and then engage in a conversation around how you meet some of the criteria for what they're actually looking for. Ask them about what they really like about working at Food Lion and share in their enthusiasm and talk about the things that they enjoy as things that you would enjoy. Ask about the team that you're working with. Show that you have a real interest in your colleagues. Even before you've even worked for the company, you're interested to know about the people you work about. And definitely make sure you ask about the next steps in the hiring process. Show that you actually care what happens next and you're really enthusiastic about starting with the company by asking that. And lastly, make sure you make up one question on the day to show that you're listening to what they're saying. So as the interview goes along, anything that you wonder about based on what they've said to you, Take a note of it and ask that on the day to show that you've been listening to what they've been saying. So finally, I wish you the best of luck in your Food Lion interview and thank you very much for watching.